I just want to say that I'm a big LeBron fan, and this is the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. Jordan, Jordan to the circle, puts the shot in the air, good, the game's over, and the Bulls have won, and Chicago has knocked off the Cavs 101 to 100. In the 2001 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Sagana Joe from the Car Senegal and Oak Hill Academy. Is the 18-year-old from Akron truly the savior? We have better players than him in his position already on our team, though. I don't think you can really just bring a high school player in and really just think your team gonna really turn around like that. The first pick in the 2003 NBA Draft goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Congratulations, Gordon. With the first pick, in the 2003 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. And as the 2003-2004 NBA season played out, we all witnessed that King James was in fact so talented, he would manage to exceed even the most outrageous of expectations. Just turned 19 on the 30th of December. Prodigy, isn't it? Yes, he? absolutely. It would be a little bit of a controversy because they, they let me out of my contract. I had, I had a two-year deal with third, with a third-year option. I mean, I wanted to stay, but I can't turn down an, an additional, you know, $35, $40 million. It's LeBron. He's the best rookie player. What if you turn into a super scout? What are you talking about? I've been covering this Carmelo for 35 years. Carmelo Anthony Tony has taken his teams to heights that only previously yeah, I heard Tim that. Duncan and David yeah. Robinson have taken their teams to rookie. This reminds me very much of young Michael Jordan. The Bulls had a losing playoffs. record three years ago. They got into the yeah, playoffs. but that's because yeah. I guess the East was much it? worse than it is now. It's about leadership. Maybe LeBron is finding that difficult. Cleveland deserves, you know, more than more than any town that I've ever been in, and the, and the people here, uh, to have a winner. And, and I'll tell you what. Worse than any of this is just thinking about the people here and seeing them go, ah, they, so here we go again. When you look back at your second season, what stands out the most for you? Uh, you know, just the way I improved during the season. The way I was able to relay with my teammates the way they, you know, let me become the leader of the team. And, and that was very special to me. John James had a wide open three available to him with nine seconds to go in a game the Cavaliers were down two points. But instead of taking that shot, he passed to a teammate, Sasha Pavlovic. LeBron's like he's playing hot potato. I mean, the ball wasn't in his hands for a second and a half. Boom! There'd been hope in Ohio that LeBron James would reconsider his opportunity to become a free agent in 2010 and accept a contract extension. But LeBron purposely wanted a shorter deal and give him the option of leaving if he wasn't convinced Cleveland was a place he could win. With the 42nd pick in the 2006 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Daniel Gibson from the University of Texas. So now we get into the playoffs uh, last year, and now people are starting to think, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. What do you think? Uh, to finally get an opportunity to be into the playoffs, uh, the biggest stage, probably one of the best fans I've ever had. First of the TNT doubleheader, James accelerates and put it down. Oh. And Dirk Nowitzki says, I'm getting out of the way. Look at the power. Jop can't get there either in Cleveland with a two-point lead. James. 48 points for LeBron James. He has scored the last 25 points. One of the all-time performances in NBA history. And there's the buzzer. The San Antonio Spurs are NBA champions once again. Their fourth title in nine years. 
And the former Spurs assistant Mike Brown with a hug for his mentor, Greg Popovich. Yeah. LeBron James, congratulations on the phenomenal season, getting your team to the NBA Finals and all of that. And I love guys like LeBron James. They got style, they got flavor. Look at my man, the first bow tie we've seen on the red carpet. The Celtics are going back to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since 2002. What a tough defeat for LeBron James. A spectacular performance after what was a spectacular season for him. What does the organization do now to try to make themselves better? They did the right thing by bringing Mo Williams in. But LeBron used as his excuse here, I'm a winner. I don't think he's a winner. But he hasn't won anything in six years now. With the 19th pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select J.J. Hickson from North Carolina State University. J.J. is not here. This is one of those series that everyone thought the Cavaliers were the better team going in because of their record, because of what they'd done in the playoffs, and then you see them on the floor with the Magic and suddenly think, oh, wait a minute, that team might be better. LeBron James averaged 41 points per game. Cleveland Cavaliers, Phoenix Suns agreeing to a trade for Shaquille O'Neal. Any of this prompted by LeBron? <laughs> well, I mean, clearly, you know, he let the team know that you know, he wants improvements and he wants to be able to try to win a championship next year. LeBron James, he wouldn't even hint at what he's going to do next year. LeBron James is the type of player that wants to win a championship. He saw Kobe Bryant host number four. So if he's going to start to be compared and put into that light, he definitely wants to start winning the championships. Shot clock is down to five. Nice fake by James. Oh, he stops! Well, click, click, get ready for your Kodak moment. LeBron James was made for the regular season. He's a regular season dynamo. He's made for our Sports Center plays of the night because he's always number one in the regular season. But come postseason time, postseason, he's the most overrated, overhyped superstar in my history in this business. You sort of feel like this Dante West rumor is true. This was like one of the most close-knit NBA teams I think any of us had ever seen. And by the end of that Boston series, that was gone. Almost like he's gone out of his way to distance himself from everybody on that team. I have no plans at this point. I've made no plans. <laughs> you know, the fact that it's over right now is definitely a surprise to myself, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, I've given myself options to this point. Several places, New Jersey, New York, Chicago, maybe even other spots. The two front runners are the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls. It's just funny how things have changed. Now the players, especially the mega superstars, they have all the power. It was a circus. Crazy cameras around, black cars kind of went underneath and they kind of ushered you in. And then you're in a really tight conference room. Uh, our presentation was, out, it was unbelievable. The best presentation I've ever been part of. But you know, you can imagine in New York how many celebrities you can get to say, LeBron, come on. I mean, it was like a who's who celebrity. It was fun. The Cavaliers fire a coach who took them to the playoffs five times, but no titles and some reported issues between Brown and the players. This is driven by owner Dan Gilbert. He's got to keep LeBron James, but uh, considering where the stakes are and what their goal is, they simply had no choice. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. The question is, how will Cleveland fans get over what happened tonight? They won't. I truly believe they won't. But his name is now right there with Art Modell in the Hall of Shame in Cleveland sports history. But the lasting memory of tonight will be this shot, his burning jersey in Lakewood. Here's some of the things mm -hmm. he says. You know, he personally guarantees that the Cavaliers will win an NBA championship before LeBron does. He goes on to say this shocking act of disloyalty from our homegrown chosen one calls him the self-proclaimed king. So he's attacking him in the nickname. 
Were you hurt by everybody's uh, dissing you and saying bad things? Were you hurt yeah, by Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's only so much uh, one man or one woman can take. I had built my whole life on just being happy about the game of basketball. And then to one year, because of everything that happened, I was playing to prove people wrong. Yeah. 